If you haven't gotten the memo yet, then you will know that today we are going to be reviewing something very, very exciting. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram or on Snapchat, you will not already know what this is. But if you do, then you definitely have seen him already. If you are not following me, why not? Go follow me on Instagram and Snapchat right now if you would like to because it is such a good time over there. I'm always sharing everything that I'm doing on my stories. A perfect way for you guys to be able to get a hold of me because I talk to you guys literally all day long. Let's go ahead and get into the surprise. First, I have to go get them. <laughs> Come here, Cash. Here's the puppy. Oh my goodness. You guys, meet Cash. This is Cashy, he was sleeping. Obviously, I'm not gonna make this video too long. You know, animal work, right? <laughs> this is the absolute love of our lives. Say hi, Cash. Say hi. Is this your YouTube debut? Can you say hi to the Brat Squad? Say hello, Brat Squad. Hello. <laughs> Chris and I have had Cash for two weeks now, so he has survived for two weeks with us, which we are so proud of. We haven't killed him yet. So if you guys are wondering, Cash is an F1 miniature golden doodle. So if you guys aren't sure what F1 means, let me show you. It all started when my mom met my dad, and they fell in love, and they had me. Hi, I'm Ryan, and my life is kind of crazy. Yes, those are Cash's parents. So his mom actually is a golden retriever and his dad is a toy poodle. I don't know how that works, but somehow it does. And that's how we got this little guy right here. But he was considered the smallest of the bunch, even though there was not a runt in their litter. Um, he's the smallest. So he should be getting up to, at the most, 50 pounds. Um, but that is pushing it, honestly. They were saying that he might not even get up to 40. Definitely a huge culture shock from having Big Brutus, the Akita, to now the miniature dog, so it's just crazy. I look at him every day and I feel like I'm looking at a beanie baby. Like, he literally looks like a stuffed animal I used to have when I was growing up, except for he is a living creature. <laughs> and he's absolutely amazing. One of the smartest breeds that I have seen in a really long time. And he's such a sweet dog and he's real smart too mom and if you guys don't know two years ago chris and i did lose it's so hard to talk about still jeez if you've lost a pet you know you know what i mean like if you know you know two years ago chris and i actually had to put our akita to sleep still so difficult to talk about but if you are an og on my channel you guys will know brutus you probably miss brutus i miss him so much so definitely r.i.p to brutus we were so nervous to get another dog we've been talking about getting a golden doodle for the longest um Obviously, it took a while after we lost Brutus to even think about getting another dog, but when we were finally ready, we started, of course, going through different breeds and trying to figure out what would be the perfect dog for us. It probably took like a year after we had to put Brutus to sleep to finally even just start thinking about getting another dog. And then we are huge researchers. We study up on everything. Like, we don't just get things on a whim. Well, he's hyperallergenic, really bad allergies around here, and it's just really great um, that, you know, we could be around him without sneezing. On a schedule, let me go get him. So we do have Cash on his schedule right now. Uh, we've been taking him out every two hours. They're like babies. If you guys are thinking about getting a puppy, please understand and know that you cannot just like keep them locked up and not take them out. I'm nipping so much, it's crazy. Like I cannot wait for this phase to be over. He is really great at using the bathroom. I think he's only had like two accidents in the house and one of them was really our fault. Like he was trying to tell us and we just thought he was trying to play. He was not trying to play. But other than that, like we have been having a great time bathroom training. He goes outside, he does his thing. We have had no issues with that. I've already been able to like let him out. But we are crate training and we have a playpen for him as well. Um, so we've been playing games, getting him used to those, not leaving him in the crate for too long just so he can be introduced and actually enjoy it. So he thinks that it's his home instead of him like dreading going in there. So he's enjoying his crate. Like he goes in there every now and then on his own because we leave the door open he just goes in there and just falls asleep so that's been going really great um everything's going good like we've already taught him how to sit he knows how to lay down um we're gonna be teaching him shake and i believe roll over very soon he's only 
10 weeks, you guys. He was born February 20th, so yeah, he is very, very intelligent for being as young as he is. And it's so crazy because sometimes I look at Chris and I'm like, you do realize that he has only been on this earth for 10 weeks? Like, this is insane. <laughs> just like in a little sack not too long ago. But I just wanted to come on here really quickly and introduce you guys to Cash because he is the newest member of the Brat family and we just love him so much and are so blessed to have him in our lives. So reviews. He nips a lot. He gets the hiccups. He has to go to the bathroom a lot. He eats a lot. He can be very, very noisy. <laughs> but other than that, he is definitely gold and I for sure am going to be giving you what are you doing? I'm for sure gonna be giving him a Brit Brit crown today. <laughs> I guess we'll keep him. 